Thanks, you guys took another real literal approach to the theme, which I again appreciate. Didn't really have to think about it, it just played into it. Um, I thought your perspective switching was really interesting. I will say that the difference between like picking up the battery and it's pixelated and then suddenly it's like a, a clean sprite was a little bit jarring, but you know, understandable as to why that would happen. Um, yeah, I don't know, I really liked it. it. I very much understood the theme. I thought your mini games were really cute. And I also thought the uh, sound choice where there was a, like a, a beat every second or so while the time was ticking down was a, a very good decision. Um, yeah. Uh, so I found the switch between like the overhead view and like the first person. I would have picked one and then just gone in that direction for the whole game because then you have to end up like balancing your time and resources against like which one you're gonna put polish into. I mean it worked for what you did, but this is just kind of like usual for game development. It's like which one are we gonna go well on? Because you could have made one of those versions a lot better and trying to have to balance the two. And then like which one do you go with? Because you put so much effort into the character and the animations. Uh, for Juno, and then it's like, okay, well, we've done this, now we're going to go to full first person, or you know this. So there were areas where it was really hard to navigate when I was in like a third person view that were much easier in the first person, but the camera controls in the first person weren't as smooth as what I was looking for. So I did have to jump back and forth between the two modes and got through it. Um, I, I broke it at one point where I had the key in my inventory, but it wouldn't let me out the door. And so I wasn't really sure what was going on. So, and when I would restart the game, it would kind of keep my inventory in check. So I wasn't sure what was happening. But um, managed to find all the things, found all the pieces, you know, got through all my checklists of the day. Um, I stuck to the theme like really, really strongly, and that was good. Um, just delightful in general. Good art theme and throw, good music, good pacing. A big plus one to the uh, first person or the third person. I, I experienced similar friction uh, just trying to navigate through the space. Um, the, the other thing, like while the theme I thought was really strong with rituals and, and habits because you did that really well, I, I didn't notice that the timer was, I think you said it was like going to increase in speed. I didn't quite notice that. Uh, and so to me, every day felt so similar for so long that I almost wish there was just like some tiny incremental change every day just to keep me engaged through the entire like, sequence uh, in the process. Uh, but other than that, like yeah, echoing what everyone has said, like the mini games are great, the UI, uh, the atmosphere, I really, really like the music and the metronome kind of um, bit. Um, so great work. Thank you, it's great to you. I really liked the perspective. <laughs> uh, I found it such like a novel approach to this, and I didn't even I didn't notice the timer speeding up. Um, and if you said it, like, oh, that's even cooler. Uh, <laughs> just to say, your audiences don't always have the same opinions. Um, I, I had this, I had similar navigation issues, but I think that just needed to be worked out in sort of all states, which is just like getting hung up on things a lot. Um, that's like my biggest gripe about it. Um, but yeah, the I. I, I I was like so immediately like taken back, like, oh, this is such a cool, interesting new way to do it. Um, it's funny because once you started switching back and forth a bit, the third person one started to feel like security cameras. Um, and I don't, I don't know, I don't think that was intentional, but it was just, it sort of added a vibe to it that was odd. But like, <laughs> it's just, it's just a, I don't know, a thing that sort of came out over time. Um, yeah, and, and I think the music was so on point with like the, this is going to sound negative, it's not of the tedium of the tasks, right? Like, it has this kind of, like, not quite outdated music, right? But, like, um, this is good music, but it, it, it really resonated with the gameplay. So, um, yeah, it was a good job. Um, I you know, take all the critiques, except for the, the perspective switching the ballot, and all the praises out. Playing Crystal Wrong. <laughs> what a spongy, man. <laughs>